Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my December favorites, um, and this video is going to be super quick and um, really kind of short and simple and sweet. And the reason for this is because my um, 2012 favorites was super, super long. Like if you guys watched that video, I am super proud of you because that video was really, really long and I have no idea why. Um, I was really rambly in it, I guess, and even when I edited it down, I guess I talked about too many products. So hopefully I edited out all these products. I only have four that I really fell in love with in December, and um, I figured I'd go ahead and talk to you guys about them. And let me know how this um, sitting is, because I'm a lot farther away from my bed than I normally am, and a lot closer to the camera, so you guys are like right in my face right now. Um, but yeah, so... I wanted to film this because I haven't posted in a few days and this probably won't go up for another day. If you guys um, are going, are in your senior year, then you know that there are just a couple more deadlines for college applications. So I am finishing all of mine. Um, I have three more that go out um, this at the end of this week or next week and one that is going out tomorrow and um, yeah and then if you guys also know I work at a dress store so I sell prom dresses at my at the store that I work at and that is becoming a huge thing um, around where I live not necessarily for my school yet although I do have my prom dress picked out so if you guys want to know about that and like my tips for finding the perfect prom dress then let me know in the comments below and I will do a video all about that but um, so today, the real purpose of this video is to talk about the few things that I really fell in love with in December. And I wanted to go ahead and do this because I didn't include them in my, um, end of the year total accumulative favorites video because I hadn't worked with them so much. So I want you guys to at least get to see them, um, in a video because I probably won't put them in the next one because I might be going to Sephora and ordering some things and therefore, yeah. Like, these just might not be my favorites anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and get into everything. So, the first main product of December that I really, really fell in love with and used almost every single day is the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream. And they go by numbers, so this one is in the shade 16. And this one is just a really nice pink color base. And what I love about the Makeup Forever line, this is my first product and I'm really for me, is um, the fact that this was all based off of being waterproof. So what I found out that was really interesting is that Makeup Forever is made to, um, it was originally made for people who did those little routines in the water and aquatic dances. So um, all of their products are formulated to be super, super waterproof. So for me, who has pretty oily eyelids and also partially because of the shape of my eyelids, my, ooh, my hair is sticking up. Um, my eyeshadow does not stay put all the time, so um, this kind of product is perfect for me and I'm super excited to try out more of the Makeup Forever line now that I know this about their products, about them being super waterproof. Um, so yeah, I have really loved this product. I think that it's a pretty good dupe for um, the Chanel color. I think, I forgot what it's called, but if you guys watch Miss Glamorazzi then you know the product that I'm talking about. Um, and it's a really great base. It's really super pigmented and because it's like that light kind of neutral tone, I find that it's perfect for going under um, different products and it wears perfectly all throughout the day. So the next product that I've really been loving this month is the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. Um, this doesn't have a shade. I don't know if I talked about this in my yearly favorites, but this is something that I picked up in December and it is so luxurious for your skin. You just do, I do two pumps and I put it on all over my face after my moisturizer and right before my foundation, obviously. And I find that it works really well and it helps make my foundation last a lot longer. I've definitely noticed a difference and I really recommend this. If you guys um, need the color correcting one, then maybe pick that one up. I didn't go and try it this time because I don't have that much redness on my face, but it might be really helpful. So I definitely recommend this and I would definitely check out the other products in the line. Going along with that, what I then picked up, um, I already own this in my collection, but what I tried to use because I was using this one is the Revlon Photo Ready Makeup. Um, and this is in the shade Golden Beige. This is a little bit dark for me right now. Um, it has a very yellow undertone, if you guys can see it compared to my skin. But um, I originally picked this up towards the end of the summer. And um, now I've been wearing it when um, I use some tanning lotion. 
but um, yeah, so I originally picked this up for my senior pictures, so that way I would have foundation that looks good in the picture. When I went to use it though, I really hated the consistency, it just wasn't blendable at all. And I found that when I used it with the primer, it worked so much better and it was really noticeable. Like one day I forgot, I was so tired because I do my makeup at like 6.30 in the morning for a school day. So I accidentally forgot this because it was one of the first few times that like I had used this. And I went to just go put this on like right away and it just was not working again and I was like why isn't this working? I wore it two days ago and it was perfect. And then I realized that silly me sleeping forgot to use the primer. So I would really use this um, if you are picking up the primer. I think that it is a great foundation then. And um, it is super nice on top of the primer. But on its own I wouldn't recommend it. And I did kind of bash this product a while back. So um, I just want to give that note because it is now something that I really love. And the coverage is really nice for someone like me who doesn't wear full coverage that often. And um, I even think that it's better than my Tend Idole by Lancome, which you guys know I use a lot when I'm more fair. Um, I put that on today and it just wasn't doing it for me. I would have much rather preferred to use this. So that is a really big raving review for me. Now, another product that I've been really in love with is something that I've had for a while, but because it's a mascara, I haven't just opened the box because I was using up my other mascara. But I wasn't 100% in love with the L'Oreal Collagen Infused Million Lashes. I really love the original formula, but that one just wasn't giving me enough um, kind of like specialness to my um, lashes. So I went ahead and I picked up the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof Edition. This one is an amazing mascara. My only complaint about the brush because I love this brush, it's kind of flat, so it's really different than other brushes. You guys can see that curve. I'll probably show a close-up. But um, this mascara is super black, and it is really great at separating your lashes and giving them a lot of volume and length and just everything that you really want for the perfect mascara look. And um, the brush is nice and flexible because I think there's a little bend in it, which again, you guys will see in the close-up, so I don't know why I keep showing you. My only complaint about this mascara, though, is that one, it is super, super, super hard to get off. But that is because it has a really good waterproof formula. So if you guys are someone who has a lot of trouble with your mascara running, then I would definitely try this because the waterproof is not an exaggeration and it is not a lie because this stuff takes forever to get off and I've had to go and buy a special makeup remover for it now because I don't want to stop using it but it's impossible to get off. And the other thing is that when I apply it, I find that I always hit my eyelid. Like, I've used this for like 20 days, 20 times, and like every time I hit my eyelid. So I have to use a Q-tip and smudge it off and then it takes off some of my eyeshadow. So that's my complaint. I don't know if I'll rebuy because of that, just because it's so frustrating. But it is a really great mascara. So maybe it's like a special use mascara. That might be what it is for me. Now the last product that I'm going to talk about is something that I didn't think I was going to originally... Ooh, it was is something that I didn't think I was going to originally include. Sorry, my hair was bothering me. And that is the Lush No Drought Dry Shampoo. So I made a video about this probably like half a year ago to like eight months ago and I did kind of like a first impressions and a um, little demo of how to use this product and I have to say I really really love it. I don't use it that much which is why I've never put it in a favorites video before because normally I wash my hair when it starts to get greasy but I started using this if I go to a fourth day of my hair um, because normally until then my hair is still pretty um, fresh and new and right now I could probably use it but I'm going to go wash my hair after this video. Um, but yeah, so I've started using this again for a fourth day of hair. I used it a lot during December. And I absolutely love this because you put it on and it comes out white like baby powder. But um, somehow this product just magically absorbs all of the oils. It leaves no residue except for making your hair feel a little bit dry, almost like you skipped conditioning, that kind of feeling. Um, so it like really dries and absorbs and cleans your scalp and just all of the oil on the top of your hair like right here where you guys see this shine like that's probably built up oil from the days like obviously my hair is still healthy and clean and it's underneath the light right now but like all of that would be subdued and gone if that was your normal hair not just you know the circumstances of your room so um 
Yeah, so I really absolutely love this. It is super easy to use and as soon as you brush your hair, all of the white is gone. So it's perfect for people with dark hair like me. And this is a huge bottle. I bought this I bought this before February of last year because that's when um, you had to, no, before, yeah, before February of last year because that's when you had to buy this by. So probably in January. And um, I, and I have to use this before April of this year. So I have this whole bottle. You guys can see this whole bottle and all that I've used is that top section. This stuff will last you forever until it expires and you decide to exchange it. So yeah, this has definitely been a favorite for December. Sorry if I'm looking at the viewfinder, not you guys, because I'm really scared that like this isn't in focus like in all my other videos and that the camera will stop recording because I'm still going to use this. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys like it. Like this video if um, these products were kind of new to you and interesting and also like it if you guys want to see the prom video and leave a comment below so that I know that you guys want to see the prom video and if there's anything else that you guys want to see then just let me know in the comments below so yeah that is really it for this video again comment down below for everything and tell me about this view and I love you guys and I hope that you guys are starting off your year 2013 greatly and yeah I will talk to you guys later bye